we're going to do is we're going to move the map so that our object is in the top left, this side of the object is in the top left hand corner of your UVW map. So, perfect. Now it's there. Now what we're going to do is the other side. So what we would do in that case, bring down your modifier list, go mesh select, open up mesh select, select face, and you'll notice that we're still selected to these faces, but what we, we don't want this. We've already done this side. So what we want to do is select everything on the other side. Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just go edit and select invert. Now you've selected everything on the other side. Then you repeat the, the previous process. You bring this down, come down, the UVW map. It's already aligned, so you don't have to worry about that. Go to 12 meters and 12 meters and go up here and open up Gizmo. And we got top line and to the right. The problem is you're doing the back side of the object which means in actual fact you're looking at the bottom of the UVW map right now not the top. So what you actually have got to do is rotate this 180 degrees. Now, once again I'll show you both ways to do it, the hard way and the easy way. This is the hard way. Click on the rotate, grab the uh, yellow line and rotate it around 180 degrees. Now, I may or may not be able to get it exactly 180 depending on my resolution of the thing, and I can't. So, I just leave it anywhere, press Control Z to go back. The easier way is right click on there. I know it's, a, it's around the uh, Z axis. So, and you'll notice that the Z axis is currently at minus 90. If, therefore, if you do the math, and if I want to go 180 degrees from minus 90, it actually is plus 90. So now you'll notice that the, the, the yellow line's at the bottom, and again, the green line is counterclockwise from it. Remembering, you're looking at the bottom of the UVW map when you're doing this side. So therefore, you're correct. So now what we've got to do is move, select and move, the gizmo. Now, the last time we did this, we went up and to the left. The problem is, like I said, we're looking at the bottom. So in actual fact, you've got to go up here and over here. Why? Because our other part of our map is on this side. So you want it on this side. So that's how you basically do that one part. Now, here's how you get it into Lith Unwrap. You've got your uh, object selected. You go File, Export Selected. Now, we're going to go up, uh, we're going to, now I'll put it in my A37, which is what this is. And I'll call it uh, fuselage, which is already there in this case, but that's okay. We'll go replace it and go OK. Mm -hmm. So now we've got our object selected. Now we're going to go back to Lith Unwrap. And we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Model and Open and the A37. And we saved it as Fuselage. So we select our Fuselage to 3DS. Boom. We now have our Fuselage unmapped in here. I'm going to do one more part. Uh, actually, I won't. I'll, uh, I'll actually do this just to let you know. So we have a, let's assume for a second that we have all of our parts unwrapped because that's basically all you do in 3D Studio Max is you now would click on UVW map, unselect, you would go uh, unhide by name, well actually we'll unhide all, we'd select our next part, we'll say our nose, we would hide unselected, and we would repeat the process. The exact same process, we'll go to the top and everything else. We'll just simply select the polygons and repeat the entire process all over again. So now, let's assume that we've got all of our parts done in, in Lith Unwrap. We would actually go File, UVW Map, Save. And we're going to call this uh, Untitled for, actually we're going to call it Tutorial. U-T-O-R-I-L dot E-M-P. Then it asks you some questions. The bitmap dimensions are fairly important. Obviously, the bigger bitmap, the more memory you're going to take. You've got to basically find a good compromise. Uh, I always actually, what I tend to do is I actually create my bitmaps really large and then resize them later so I can get some detail. Now, what, you, what this for here is color and fill. Uh, basically, what color will give you is each individual part of up here, and these are a group. These two things are part of the same group. Uh, therefore, they're going to be the same color in the output. And fill will mean that it's actually filled in. 
uh, as opposed to it'll uh, it'll actually look like what you see here. It'll just be color. So we're going to fill it with color. Click OK. Now we've created a tutorial dot uh, BMP file. So we'll go back to Max, and what we're going to do is we're going to unhide all. We're going to select our uh, our fuselage again, and we're going to hide unselected, just so that we got only it on the screen. Then we're going to create, um, in the material editor, we're actually going to create a, uh, I've got some in here, so I'll just create a new one. Uh, we're going to create a material, so we'll select that one, go to diffuse map, go to bitmap, and we're going to select uh, tutorial.bmp. Now you'll notice here, it shows the blue with them on there, so we double click on it. And we can now drag that, if you wish, right onto our fuselage and highlight it. And it'll be blue.